I think the success for this program is really limitless. Completely life-changing for me. This has definitely um, shown me the way. Going through the leadership courses have given me a deeper insight. I am Robin Lawrence. I'm Gabriel Dupree. Sophia Perez. Carmen Williams. I'm Leslie Harris. Nelson McCoy. Andrea Williams. And I am currently involved in the My Village Project Leadership Institute. You're at the table to justify what it is that we do. But the beautiful thing about knowing, you can't unknow. You can act like you don't know, but you can't unknow what you know. And a lot of the nonprofits here in Jacksonville who represent our community don't have anybody or doesn't have anybody who looks like us on their board. And so this is allowing to instill in us the skills and the different characteristics that we need to be educated and well versed so that when it is our turn to sit on that board, we get that invitation because we're qualified to do so. We're in a group of, I think, maybe 13 other you know, professionals and we're just a different mindsets, different backgrounds, and we're able to kind of brainstorm and come up with these ideals. It's, it's refreshing for us to see us again. Let me see my peer who's doing something because that gives me hope. That, that lets me know that, hey, I, I'm on the right track. We've had different sessions on uh, philanthropy, government, education. It's been absolutely phenomenal. I've learned so much about the city of Jacksonville. These um, sessions have shown us these issues on a much larger scale. We all feel comfortable in this room helping children. We got the babies, we wanna help kids, we love helping kids. Kids is where we gotta, we gotta help these, we gotta mentor these kids. And I agree with that, but I also disagree with it too. The last time I looked, kids don't pay the light bill, kids don't pay rent. Who does it? Parents do, caregivers do. And when is the last time we help them? completely life-changing for me to actually think about the numbers and how it makes financial sense for people to have a stake in poverty. Just to see how much is going to these larger organizations that may not even need this money. And here we are, these nonprofit organizations that we lead, we, you know, we get pennies compared to what they're getting on a regular basis. I went from oh, I can do this over here, and I work with the kids, and I'm doing this, to now coming to the realization that there's more to be done, and there's more I can do, and now I want to do more. Jacksonville was and still can be this great, thriving city. Um, and definitely a great, thriving city for our African-American community. And I want to be one that is a part of that legacy.